guys, hope you are doing great. You are right here at the Bahati's launch. The Bahati's Empire launch, and we are so happy to have them here. First of all, we are Kavizuri. Then this is the couple that in a tesapale kwa mtandao. Then kuna couple lingine wana tutesa uko. The Bahati's wana tusalimia, then tutaendelea. Sasa muhesh. Kupua kabisa. Kupua? Asante sana. You looking good. Mambo? Kupua sana, mambo? Kupua sana. Asante, you too. Thank you. How is the feeling right now kuona kitukubwa kama hii? Because this is the best of the best. Na watu wamekuza wengi sana kwa sabi. Ato wengina mkua invite wamekuza tu. How is the feeling? For me, I'd say it's a dream come true. It was once a dream when we are writing the episodes down with my husband and uh, we knocked on doors actually after the project was completed and there uh, so many doors shut on us and then nikamwambia uh, the sky is the limit okay so he was alikuwa down kidogo nikamwambia babe don't worry we have netflix to knock on you know and uh, we are here so i can say it's a dream come true it's taken a lot of work a lot of energy a lot of effort a lot of sweat a lot of sleepless nights and i remember last year we were claiming or proclaiming that 2024 is going to be the bahati's year and look at what god has so done yes, uh -huh. and maybe bahati for how long have you guys worked on uh, this show yeah it's been for a while eh? we the first uh, the first shot was the first scene eh? was in November 12th in 2023. Yeah. So uh, it's been because it's a reality and uh, we we have tried to make sure that we give you very natural stories and uh, you know for unscripted is about the mood, the feeling and just being real. So since then and we are launching now. So we have been working on this for 7 months, yeah. 7 8 months, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't believe it, man. Uh -huh. But what I say, it's show ni kali. Ah, you quite trailer. You too, man. Unajua trailer tu lazima tu fiche kidogo ju trailer kona drama nyingi. Eh, trailer kona drama nyingi na his excellence alikuwa around. Unajua lazima tu eshimu yo. So we have just given you a snippet of the intro, uh, of what to expect, uh, the introducing scene. You know, just to know the Bahatis. You have not seen the show. Uh -huh. Go get your Netflix, uh -huh. man. Uh -huh. Go. Uh -huh. This launch, you guys said it was quite on a, on a quite a short notice, sure, sure. and you guys managed to get the deputy president. Yeah, ni mungu. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I believe God has been good. Yeah. God has been good. When I told my wife that, you know what? The the the, the guest of honor is the deputy president. Yeah. You know, I told, yeah, I want to call the deputy president. He has to attend this. And uh, he has honored the industry, he has honored the Bahatis. And glory to God, man. This is the biggest launch that I've witnessed myself in Kenya. And this being our first show as EMB Entertainment, because this is my first show. I've created the show literally. Uh, it's created by Bahati Kevin. Uh, Diana is the executive producer. So. This being our first production as EMB Entertainment, uh, even you've seen the crew, the director, you know, the editors, everyone is fresh from the woven. So, uh, being a first show, and we have gotten Netflix on this, it's a dream come true. And trust me, Wase, this is a hype, this is a show to sit down, lock your six hours, because it's six episodes, the first six episodes, yeah. watch and enjoy, get entertained and get inspired. We can't wait for season two. Uh -huh. We can't wait for season two. Yeah. And you are the okay. first couple to release a reality show. What really pushed you to do this? Because For me, I'd say it's more about uh, being out there and I command a lot of following. I command a lot of ladies. People follow me widely. And I hear so many stories here and there. I've done so many things. And people come back and tell me, you encourage me. You inspire me. I'd like to be like you. And I just want to show people my journey. And tell people that you can be a nobody today. And rise from grass 
to grace, mm -hmm. you know, and that is my story. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, me being in a relationship with my husband, raising an adorable family, we are just proud to, you know, show people how our lives are and how we relate together, how we relate to our kids, how we relate to our nannies. And I think that was the inspiration behind that. We yeah, just actually, want to be on ourselves. This show, yeah, on, yeah. Just to catch it, on this show, yeah. you have everyone, you know, yes. from, uh, of course, our kids, Mweni, um, Morgan, Heavy Majesty. And guys, for the first time, <laughs> we are unveiling Malaika's face. Oh <laughs> Malaika my God. is in the show. Yes, she wow. is. Yes. Let me ask this. We are uh, is this Malaika on the show on Netflix? This is a Netflix baby. Yeah. That's one of the reasons you need to go and watch the show. <laughs> oh, that baby is beautiful. Uh -huh. Is oh. this probably the reason uh, why you guys postponed uh, the face reveal when you guys have planned to do so, Diana? Uh, clearly, that's that's the reason. Mm -hmm. Clearly, because uh, I mean, this is way bigger than you know. Let's call a celebration for a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I did a vlog just the other day, yesterday, and I apologized to my fans mm -hmm. and I told them, "Miss him tomorrow, nikisa mantafanya tafanya." But it needed to be <laughs> yeah. in a bigger way. Uh -huh. This is my baby. Mm -hmm. I get to unveil her once. Well, that is our last one. Okay. <laughs> I get, or rather, we get to unveil her just once, mm -hmm. uh, forever in her life, mm -hmm. and I wanted to make it special. So for me, I think so far my best moment and my highlight of uh, the show is just for the world to see Baby Malaika but, Nyambura Bahati. But yeah. congratulations so, on uh, first of all what you've done. Uh, Labda tuni wapeleke on the way you marketed this event uh, yes. from wewe kutupika kipindi on uh, mm. deleting uh, uh, the, the, you know, unfollowing her mm. and then going to posting uh, Wanyama and, uh, you know, the <laughs> Mama Mweni. Yeah. I mean, did you expect that people will react negatively? Ama, because we know mm. that uh, what walikuwa najua ni kiki. Yeah. But when you had the other family now, and uh, the emojis, you see, you what see the came to your mind to get to that point? Because, you know, our if there's something that we've been so real on our show, we need to make our open sana. You know, we have addressed a lot of rumors, by the way, a lot of rumors. We have put everything straight. We, we have given clarity on a lot of things, you know, a lot of... Uh, you understand? <laughs> yeah. And uh, believing that's one of them, you understand? Because they always say my adopted son, Morgan, is Wanyama's son, you understand? And uh, of course, it's not something good because But if that's what you say, you understand? It's nothing, uh, I just posted to show you, there's nothing big, it's not a big deal, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, as long as I know her, she knows me, you know, that's what matters. And uh, there was nothing really, uh, what we were saying, because uh, for seven years, I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going Diana, you are a mother, you are a wife, you are a brand ambassador, you do a lot. And now in this uh, movie, would I call series or movie? Reality. Reality. Thank you. Yes, uh, reality show. Uli jipanga vipi ku handle easy vitu zote because you have a lot to do. How did you Four months. I mean, uh, I like saying life is a balance. Na ni lazima ujitume. Ata biblia inasema, you cannot be rich by only just having one, not just uh, income coming your way. By Biblia na sema tapu na seven jobs, you know? And na sema, I have an army behind me, and my army is my family. And this man, I see how hard he works, I see his resilience, I see how he pushes, um, how he pushes doors, how he knocks on doors. And sometimes, na kwanga kwa ile space ya, I just want to chill, na ni relax, na ni lale. But what I see him go through, I'm like, no. Ni kama, ni, ni kama Jesus bila libeba eh, cross. Na unamuona watu wanamfuata wanampiga. I look at him that way, you know? And I say, apana, I have to help him carry the cross. 
And you know, as long as I sit down and I see we are going to the next level each and every day, I'm, I'm, that is what gives me satisfaction. So it's all about balance. You just have to find balance. Yeah. But, of course, my dear Netflix, the show uh, this might be the most expensive show reality show that Kenya has done uh, because when we value the show, I'll not tell you what <laughs> we got, but when we value the show, we can value it around 47 million Kenyan shillings. Yeah, it's, uh, it has costed more than 47 million Kenyan shillings to produce this show. When you look at the production value, uh, you know, logistics, you know, we were real to ourselves. And uh, we have given you the high life. We are, you have not seen the show. You need to go and see the show. From styling, I've never seen a show styled that good. I have never, you understand? You know, Bespoke did their thing. And, um, you know, as the MB Entertainment, we knew this was our first show. So this being our first show, do you know what we did? Uh, we made sure that we are new kids on the block, but we beat the rest. Uh -huh. Trust me. And uh, we have another one cooking. So for now, <laughs> watch the Bahati's uh -huh. Empire. Uh -huh. And season two is also coming. Uh -huh. So yeah. we are waiting for Netflix to tell us when. Uh -huh. So I believe this is already a hit. Guys, go get your Netflix. Our what? fans, subscribe. Okay. Let's take it to number one. Okay, so uh, congratulations once more. And uh, also talking about the show, uh, why name the show The Bahati's Empire? And also, uh, I have Nimaswali Tatu Zinafotana, and also to Diana. Uh, the time that uh, you promised us a million subscribers, you're going to avail the baby. You obviously got back, back, uh, back. It is, is it backlash? Yes, thank you. Backlash from your fans too, because you also read the comments and everything. How was it? And hiding Laish's face. What challenges did you face? Tanzania, Musha. Tanzania. About Laish's face. Oh, why? <laughs> Uh, hiding Malaika was uh, very tough and especially tough for me as the mother. And I remember there's a time to let Anajuna Bahasana, Alikuja, Kwahao guns blazing, pa 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 pa, Urajua. When you look at the post, Malaika, Nini, I will say the challenges we faced, Nikama. Kwa tu seme alikuwa na washo kupost mtoi, so alikuwa na shinda kimchukua tu. Sema oh my baby, I want people to see you. Oh nini? So siku moja juu na chukua ngana Instagram. I think alichukua nse dia seva kapost. Yeah. So we were like, kumbi bloggers wa Kenya wamela. Imagine. Let you know. Ama muli turu mi atua. I know we wake up. Aki muli kwa melala. Because we woke up and I told people well, now wait to see Malaika's face everywhere. And can you imagine not a single blog got her face that day? I, I don't know. So, I don't know. Guys, but we, we believe this was God's time yeah. to reveal Malaika. Uh, just to finish, the reason we called this the Bahati's Empire, it's because you know the first show that we produced was being Bahati. Of course. We co-produced it with uh, with uh, DNR, and then we did as EMB Entertainment, uh, which was Bahati Reality on NTV, which was a full production. Of course, we took a break after COVID because we felt like we were not ready for when we wanted when we come back on TV to make it bigger. Now, fortunately, as we are coming back, it's not about Bahati anymore. Diana has our own army uh, and uh, it's crazy you know sasa zingine naona ngam nasema mnapenda Diana kumuliko kuliko bahati mnasahau tena mna mnasahau Diana ni wa bahati so uh, the reason we called it the bahati is empire it's because the show is is beyond bahati and this is an empire actually the main character of the show